and I, I know a lot of you know Sue. And oh, oh, sorry. What can I say about? It? Okay, so first I'll talk about the artwork. These are watercolors. You ever work in watercolors? Watercolors are a giant pain in the neck because if you make a mistake, you can't correct it. It's almost impossible. And these are big watercolors. Most watercolors, I've, honestly, artists choose to work small in watercolor because to do this without making a mistake at this scale is an enormous challenge. So there's this technical thing that's going on that's immensely impressive. Like Robin Reynolds, she's also a great colorist. She's just chosen to use a more restrictive palette. But there are just these, I challenge you to count the number of browns in this <laughs> painting. <laughs> Right? It's not just brown, it's this whole conversation about brown and what brown can do. She also, again, I'm a sucker for this, it's, she's walking that line between abstraction and representation. You can tell it's nature, but maybe not on this planet, which means that she's got this surreal dreamlike thing going on. There's a lot going on here and in, in a deceptively simple image. And they're beautiful. They're just straight out beautiful. And so I, I chose her above the others, I think in, in part because of the technical prowess. And also, and th this goes to the fact that it's really not a blind jury when you hire me in Worcester. Um, I have to think about some political things, whether Juliet wants me to or not. So, for instance, Carrie, you won't mind me talking about it. Carrie Crane, she has work in the show. Her work was selected for the show. She's having a solo exhibition at my museum in a month. Well, that's a plug for you, but, but the, the whole idea here is there, there is a lot of talent in central Massachusetts and we need to spread the love. Right? Louis Dupre, he just had a giant show at the Sprinkler Factory, which was unbelievably well received. Right? Um, Robin, Re Robin Reynolds has got like 40 shows this year. <laughs> um, Sue Swinan, and I didn't know this until I, I chose this, she was the winner in the very first Arts Worcester Biennial 18 years ago. Oh. <laughs> Sue has been operating, and I, I've seen her work for years, and I put her, I, I can't count the number of juried shows I've included her work in. Her work has been in the regional show in Fitchburg every year since I've been there, and I'm sure every year beforehand. She has operated at this level of quality for her entire career. This artist deserves a solo exhibition at the Worcester Art Museum. Here, here. That's why I <laughs> Thank you. Excuse me? That's right, and she taught She's a really close friend of Sally Bishop's. Yeah. And she's an awfully nice person. Exactly. <laughs> so I, I know I've gone on 